for what that means and why we bring in Trump confidant Matt Schlapp, chairman of the Conservative Political Action Coalition. Matt, good to see you. We appreciate it. Uh, if Yunkin wins, does it prove the emperor of the Republican Party has no clothes? No, I, I think what it means is, is that these questions that we thought the election were going to be about, uh, it turned into something totally different. It turned into all these cultural questions. You know, kids were home during coronavirus. I agree with Chris Steyerwalt as a parent in Northern Virginia, and a lot of our neighbors were dumbfounded with how bad the public schools mismanaged that opportunity. And then they started to stumble across all of this agenda of critical race theory, this uh, sexualizing young children, the war on gender, just absolute radical stuff that parents didn't quite realize was in the curriculum of these schools in Loudoun County, a county that's really was a Republican bellwether, but has really turned into more of a Democratic county due to a lot of Soros money and such. You know, this has just completely changed the landscape of the race. And Glenn Youngkin probably didn't think he'd be a cultural warrior as a Republican nominee, but that's what he's become. Yeah, there's no question. It's pretty interesting when you think about Loudoun County, one of the wealthiest counties in the country, uh, now conceivably, possibly trending all the way back red or at least at least getting to 50 50. Uh, let's take this the other way. If Democrats are successful making this about President Trump and Terry McAuliffe wins, does that prove that in 2022 any Republican candidate must go full MAGA? Uh, you know, I just think it's kind of simple. It's a blue state where Joe Biden is underwater by most polls show him as much as 10 points unpopular in the state. So I understand I'm a Republican and you want to focus on where Donald Trump is in the state, but the assumption is that Donald Trump wouldn't be popular in a blue state. And actually what we're seeing is on the issues, uh, they match where Donald Trump uh, goes when it comes to questions about parents and kids and do parents have a role in teaching their kids. So I guess this question is, does Trump get any credit if Youngkin wins? I sure think he will. Will Trump be blamed if a Youngkin loses? I guess all I would say is the expectation is the Republicans going to lose in Virginia. Let me just tell you this. If Youngkin wins, this is like a Scott Brown victory in Massachusetts. This is going to be, uh, this, is, this is just like a, a massive statement heading into next year's election. All right, I only got about 30 seconds. Massive statement. That statement says, that statement, we know what it says, Republicans can win in a Biden plus 10 state. What does that statement mean practically? It means that Democrats will start to continue to move away from Joe Biden. You already saw Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin on the budget deal. You'll see more Democrats realizing that they're going to have to go it alone to win their race, that standing by the president and standing by these more radicalized policies aren't good in a purple area. So I think that'll actually be good for the country. Maybe a little more centrist uh, Democrats would be good for all of us. Yeah. Matt, uh, excellent both local uh, Virginia voters' perspective and national as well. It's always good to see you. Thank you. There are some who still contest the 2020. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.